Hola and welcome to our how to configure park system. On our QCC file using Cuproc, go to config table totals. Set a store time and time link. Attention, records must be bigger than one. We need at least one record on menu. We will use price levels, so we assign it to four. This setting is according to our case. We will define each car time as a price level, for example, a small car, motorbikes and trucks. Be sure there are PLUs available and set the price level quantity to them. We start defining price level name. We say we will receive cars, motorbikes and trucks. Each one will be charged different. We only need one department because we will work directly with PLUs. On PLU we have created the different tariffs. For example, first one is free. And from there we just define some examples. One hour, two hours and so on. Each article uses different price levels. First price level is for cars, second price level is for moto and third price level is for trucks. As you see here, PLU number 3 is 2 hours and it costs $3 for cars, $6 for moto and $12 for trucks. In menu, we configure the parking time rules. These are set in minutes into the list. On quantity, we write the minutes and on PLU, the article to purchase. This is only an example. So on the list, you can see until 15 minutes, will be charged PLU 1, till 60 minutes PLU 2, and so on. Here is missing an extra PLU, we create 10. We'll say after 520 minutes will be changed PLU number 10, which is all day. On system parameters 130A, we say the price depend on the menu number 1. In this case, we write 1, which is defined for menus, and then the menu number, which is 01. The result number for the parameter is 101. We would like to print barcodes and scan them. It is easier that write down the timeout. So on system parameter 139, we just need to input two digits. These are random and are used to define the first two digits on our barcode. The register will create automatically the other ones using the daytime information. On system option 77 can be modified the date format and using system option 336 is printed on the ticket the use time. To finalize we configure our keyboard. We input some price levels, one key to define input time, output time and several PLUs. Now we proceed to install our config in our register. 